So today's day four of my Corona days and today's headline was from uh, Governor DeSantis issues a stay at home order for Florida starting tonight at midnight. And at first I was like, I felt a little bit panicked about that. And then I remembered that here in my county, Osceola, we've already been on a stay at home order for about a week and like out in the public, nothing's really different. I So it looks like the car dealer is open. I mean, I know they have a lot of cars at it anyway, but if I just look like up in the lobby, I mean, hold on. I'm going to see if they actually are open. There's people in there. Yeah, just give me a second. I really am not sure why the car dealer is essential at the moment. He did have on gloves though. I told him I touched the door and I said sorry. Oh, which reminds me, I better wash my hands. I've been trying really hard to stay at home and I don't want to go out because I get a little bit grossed out about being in public places. But um, really, if you go out on the streets, everything's just about the same we're going to the other and we're gonna see like how many businesses are actually still open like who's actually staying at home so if you look across the street over there and we'll go up to it in a second you can see that plaza is completely full the, the parking lot is full of cars here's the people that work at a tiny part of this plaza full of cars so just like I mentioned it's not that people are staying at home. It's just they're doing something different than maybe they normally would have. Everyone's like scrambling to go to the grocery store because I don't know if they think it's going to close for good or not. But let's check. Here's another grocery store plaza. It's got some restaurants in it. And check out over there. Liquor store is still open, has been open the whole whole week right it says open doesn't it mm -hmm. right so Osceola was closed all except for essential businesses the liquor store is open but the restaurant next door is closed the nails is closed there's like no logic to really what's happening here so, on the benches and they have these you know park closed signs everywhere so, you know, people are trying to get out and be healthy, but it's hard. Here's one thing I find ironic. The benches are roped off, but the drinking fountains are not roped off. So you could still touch the drinking fountain. You could still put your mouth on it. And it looks like the public restrooms over there are still open and not locked, which totally doesn't make sense to me. Well, where were you at? I was in the Samuel Power Sports who sells the motorcycles, jet ski, the boats, all kinds of fun things. So they're Is unloading over 50 or 60 trailer today because they said they ran out. Ran out of what? The trailer with the ski, jet ski. They sold so many jet skis they yeah. sold out? Yeah. Would you consider that an essential business? Not really, it's a fun. Did they explain like why were they open when I mean, Nobody's supposed to be open. People needs to have to do something. So otherwise they're going to do this just like I did. I shoot myself pretty much. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. So you own a business that's non-essential and you've been trying to follow the orders. Like, how does that make you feel? I mean, I don't know. It's I'm following the rules and everything. The difference of the house, the public's looked at it. So I guess the, Going to Paris Bird is you go walk in there and grab your things and pay it, go, right? By yourself, one by one. And that, like let's say we say this space staying six feet away each other, and the lady give me the sign that takes paper, and I told, I asked them, what's the matter? Like if you tell me you stay six feet away and you're handing me this pen and paper to sign the bill, receipt, I don't know, that's the answer. So. Yeah. 
in the mix. I don't see how getting a kayak paddle on a kayak is any different. Right. Do you feel like though that some service and tourism businesses are being hurt while other businesses are thriving just because people, not everything is closed. So people are just going to do something different. They're yes. going to do what they can do. Yeah, the business like uh, mine is definitely hurting so bad. It's not, we're not big billion dollar company business. So we make and we pay, we make, we pay. It's just like it's paycheck to paycheck, but it's like a different point of view for the small businesses. So you know, of course you hurt the hell out of it. Like I can see the power sport has like the selling I just spent three hundred dollars, so because of my need. So I'm sure pretty other b people wanted to do the same things too, and they go and buy things and they spend money. And same thing, my business model is <coughs> it's exactly the same thing. We just doesn't sell the products, we sell the adventure. So, and that thing, they don't go to the, my business things because we have a group get together to have to go and you can do those type of things. So. Yeah, but I'd say selling jet skis is selling adventure. Yeah. It is. Okay. It's just a bigger money. Good to know. Yeah. I got this Airbnb alert this morning in my email that said um, all vacation rental houses uh, as of March 28th uh, we're no longer able to take reservations and that was sort of our last lifeline for income um, and the the directive was given by the governor that um, vacation rentals were not allowed however um, hotels are allowed resorts are allowed so obviously uh, resorts with sort of condominiums and townhouses those can house people and the whole thing didn't make sense to me because I'm thinking well hmm, my own vacation rentals all of the people who were vacationers canceled right away and the only bookings I had been getting were people who had to come here for work for some reason and they needed to stay close by their work so when that happened a couple weeks ago and all of my vacationers canceled but some people who needed to stay here for work um, were happy to come here for a couple weeks I was really thankful and grateful because I thought okay great that's a little bit of income for me um, but now we're not allowed to take anybody and this whole thing doesn't make sense because what it's doing is it's suffocating small businesses especially tourism businesses like mine and allowing big businesses to continue um there's all kinds of caveats for why businesses could possibly stay open but it's it's just nothing makes sense anymore some gardening essentials a lot of gardening happening this place teeming I'm not really sure what's happening there. Some people with masks on. Yeah, that lady wants to go out, but she doesn't want to touch anybody or breathe on anybody. Oh, 150 person limit. Thank you for your patience. Okay, so they're monitoring people. You're only allowed to have 150 people in Home Depot at one time. It's a little bit more than the don't gather in groups of more than 10 rule that I heard about, but. What's happening is really affecting services and tourism. And I think that people aren't going to just stop doing things like what we do during the hurricane. Florida knows very well how to stop. Florida knows how to stop during a hurricane, you know, get your food, stay inside because you can't absolutely cannot go outside. Maybe there's no electricity. Maybe, you know, tornadoes are everywhere, something like that. But right now, all they're doing is diverting business from one industry to the next. Um, people just, if they're allowed to do something, they're allowed to go somewhere, they're going to go somewhere. And you saw like yesterday, I was at the grocery store, all of those types of stores are packed because people are bored and they want something to do and so they're still going around and touching everything and that type of thing i get it we shouldn't all be going out and getting drunk and hugging each other in the bar because that's gonna spread things but i just don't think that 
closing some of the businesses and not all of the businesses is a good idea. So for example, my friend lives in the UK and she said um, there was a local pub that was allowed to uh, start selling food or like kind of turn itself into a grocer because it had food. And so what they would do is allow one person in, one person out. And that's how they're conducting a lockdown. They're not saying you can't get food. They're saying we don't want 200 people all in the store at the same time. That's something we can't control. That's an environment we can't control at all. And that's not what we're doing here in Florida. And I think it's too late. I think this lockdown came way too late and it's not really even, it's not even really a lockdown. When, if you look at the ordinance, I mean, what they call essential businesses, essential activities is almost everything. Uh, church groups, you can go, you can go to church with, I mean, if your church has a thousand people in it and everybody sits next to each other, like what's the difference? Um, you can go, uh, Osceola County had golf courses open. That was allowed. I don't get that. If we can sit next to each other in a golf court cart, what's the difference? Can we not go in the clubhouse? I don't know. You know, um, there was other things, you know, swimming pools were allowed to be open. You're allowed to go swimming. <laughs> like, what? I just like, what is this lockdown? This is so typical Florida. I do love my state, but yeah, no, we just kind of don't do the right thing sometimes.